Well, good morning and welcome to another meditation. The title for today's meditation is Jesus, the gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving perhaps can be used as a derogatory phrase in English sometimes. It's, it's almost meant to be an insult, but I'd like us to think about it in literally its meaning as something that keeps on giving over time. Jesus, the gift that keeps on giving. As you listen to this, it will be Christmas Eve. And I'm always remembered of, as a, as a dad, you know, Christmas Eve was always an exhaustive day to make sure everything was covered, all the, all the presents were wrapped with all the names correct, ready for tomorrow. And then, of course, we would, we would do late at night and then very early in the morning when the children were young, they'd be bouncing around trying to open presents. And I've been thinking about a father, me, buying gifts for his children. Um, if you know, I have two children, Josh and Matt. They're both in their mid-twenties now. Joshua was always reading books, and many of the presents I bought Joshua for Christmas were books. I remember one year when we had a deal that if he spent money on books, I would double it, and he saw some horrible maths and horrible history and horrible science books at Waterstones. And he worked out that if he bought six himself, he could buy 24. And he, I remember him running upstairs at Waterstones with 24 books in his hand. Uh, Matt, on the other hand, was into mechanical things, uh, programming and Lego. And I bought gifts that matched. Of course, th those boys now, Joshua is a research student, reading all the time, and maths, uh, Matt is doing uh, data analysis and programming. So here's my point I want you to think about. A father gives gifts that are expressing the long-term plans for the children. Any parent will understand this, but you can also reflect on the gifts you have been given in your life by people, by uh, parents, by brothers and sisters. They're gifts, aren't they? The gift that keeps on giving, Jesus. I'd like to read you Jeremiah 29, verse 11, where it says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Another translation of that says, plans to give you the future you hope for. So in a sense, the gift that keeps on giving not only gives us a gift for our current position in, in, in church and in life, but also long-term as well. Uh, I see gifts like as an immediate thing and the fruit of the Spirit is like a long-term savings account. The yield that the fruit creates over time is very good for you. But both are really gifts, aren't they? Otherwise we'd be earning things ourselves, and that's not what we said. So God is the gift that keeps on giving, in the form of the Father. John 3.16, we all know, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God so loved the world that he gave, the gift that keeps on giving. Luke 13, sorry, Luke 11, verse 13 says this, if you, if you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So there's an example of the Father giving the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift that keeps on giving. And of course, I've mentioned this already, in the form of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, it says in many passages in the Bible, give gifts. Some of them are mentioned in Romans, some in 1 Corinthians, some in Ephesians 4, where uh, it says he gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be pastors, some to be teachers, some to be evangelists. So the gift that keeps on giving from the Father, from the Holy Spirit, and of course now in the form of Jesus. So we all know that Jesus' death on the cross was a gift to us a gift that we would have eternal life. As we sang only on Sunday at church, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. There's another gift that Jesus gives us right now. Where is Jesus right now? The Bible says he's in heaven, advocating, speaking for us in our defence. In 1 John 2, 1, it says this, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defence. I know myself, when I hear perhaps stories about myself that are not true, my instinct is to defend myself and to 
uh, almost fight back. And I love the fact that this verse says, we have Jesus in heaven who defends us, who speaks for us, who pleads the case for us. And then, of course, the final one, the one I want to finish on is another one of the gifts that keeps giving from Jesus is he'll come again, as Chris was talking about only last Sunday to us. There is a day that all creation's waiting for. A day of freedom and liberation for the earth it is a popular song we sing. So as we, as we finish this meditation, I'd like to leave you with this thought. Although all these gifts, everything we've talked about are personal, they are personal, but some gifts are also specific for you. For you specifically to equip you for his plans. And I'd like to ask you to perhaps meditate for a moment. What gifts have God given you that are for you to fulfill his plans? Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. May I wish you a wonderful season filled with joy and the gift of peace which passes all understanding. May that fill your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Jesus.